Hello, welcome to a new video about the update of XCS post processors for STM for Fusion 360. And uh, let's go with the update. Uh, so there I have a there I have a setup uh, for my for my uh, um, testing file. If I go to the edit, I can see that I add the machine uh, which name is STM and uh, the process for programming is uh, same only what is new in the operation is uh, this menu use variable for operation so this by check this option uh, it will add a new work plane for uh, uh, for xilog and uh, you will be able uh, modify every every operation like uh, shift x y and x y and z so this is this this is this update and uh, if i go to the post process i have a, a few new function there uh, which first one it's uh, creating uh, creating barcode so uh, if you check it so it will start uh, my external application which will create the barcode for uh, for this for this part and pgmx pgmx conversion so where you set uh, the path to your tool database in the Xilog Maestro so it's a TLGX and there is for example DEF TLGX and path to X converter which uh, which is for conversion to XTS to the uh, to the to the PG to the PGMX uh, which you can find in your in your Maestro folder and which is which is there and there you can set also uh, which uh, which type of conversion you want so uh, you have a convert to pgmx convert to pgmx with the setup and use xcs uh, use xcs output uh, without any without any conversion uh, with the setup it means that uh, it will automatically create uh, the uh, the section caps uh, and the rails for your for your for your machine by using the x, x, x converter uh, if I set only the convert to pgmx and I can write the the file name which will be uh, file number one for example and set also the barcode output uh, rest of menu is, uh, is still same so we can now go to the post process uh, on the background it will start the x converter and also my application for uh, for uh, for a barcoding now it's generate the barcode and the barcode is now saved uh, we can see now in the in the folder which we selected that we have a xcs because the fusion and make a control if the if the file is if the file is okay so we have uh, we have there also xcs file there we have a pgmx file and the file with the with the barcode, if uh, if you have uh, if you have reader on your on your machine, if we start the Maestro, we can now open the the file as a native PGMX file. And there we have it. Uh, I also add the the, the phases for the for the uh, for the machining, so you can see that uh, it's a setup five axis. There we have uh, this operations. So this is like this, and the name is uh, five axis. It's a setup uh, setup name and uh, and the pocket operation and plane outline it's a it's a operation it's an operation name uh, now we can check how it looks if we add this option in the post so use variable for operation and we will generate the code again so post process and it's a file number two post again it's a start on the background all of these all of these process for the conversion and for the barcoding so okay 
we have it and we can see that we have uh, again these three files and we will open the file number two yes close current and now we can see that we have a this plane for the operation for the operation pocket so we can see that uh, it's with some value and if we want make some uh, make some correction in the on the machine so we can put there 100 500 500 is too much so this one and we can see it's on the on the separate separate plane and if we go back to the zero it's on the place as we as we did on the on the on the fusion it's okay thanks for your attention and uh, this is about the, the update xts file if any question just uh, write me on my email or or the message thank you bye for now